truth. I know, I know, you must be thinking, why are you posting on Wednesday? Guess what? We reached 10k subscribers, and I had no other better way to celebrate than building a Pandawanda official museum. Yes, I said Pandawanda official museum. This will include fan art, fan screenies, and even more. I can't wait to show you, so I hope you enjoy it. Here we go! I'm going to be first starting out with the front. Everyone in front of me is trying to guess what I'm going to be building, but I wouldn't tell them anything. And now I'm going to build a layout for the stairs going up to the museum while coloring in the front. I also called in a friend, Zoe, for her to help me if I needed to color anything and she would do it for me. I needed to just make sure I could go through the door and it worked, so thank goodness it did, because I had no other way of making stairs without it. Of course we needed front desk, so I decided to make my own original type with three computer seats. I also wanted an opening of the ceiling, so that's why I'm creating this round circular base for that to be the opening of the entrance. Now I'm creating the walls which the posters will go on and I'll put on the ID codes of the fan pictures. I also wanted the entrance to be extra just like all the Pando Andes out there. So I created little designs that I have no idea how it looked like, but I guess they looked pretty cool. Decisive on the color of the inside so I asked the people who are watching me and they said the lighter cream color so that's what I went with. Now 
now it's time to add in the posters. I felt bad because everyone was watching me for a really long time, so I told them to come over and take a screenie. Love your fans, can you say Panda Land is forever and make it in a high voice? Panda Land is forever! Yep, that's my highest voice. And now let's speed it up. Panda Land is forever! As I'm placing the poster, Zoe is coloring the white, so that's why it may be colored when I pass by it, so don't think there's like a ghost or something. And now I'm adding like a little balcony looking out into the open space. I thought that would be pretty cool. And I'm making this second floor as like a fan art area or gallery that people have sent me through Instagram. Also, I want to say that I tried uploading all of them, but some fan art images said that the text was too small or unreadable, so I got banned from Roblox, but thankfully I got my account back, so that's why you may not see yours. I'm really sorry, you're all so talented, and I still have them on my phone, and I'll keep them forever. Thank you. And now for the third floor, I'm doing the same thing as a balcony, so it will have three levels looking down into the first main floor. I also felt like this desk area was a little plain, so I thought, oh, what if I had bushes? And it looked amazing. Even Zoe told me, wow, that adds a lot of character. Take a look at how many people are watching me build. Guys, you are crazy.
I always forget about this part. Bathrooms! We need bathrooms! So I made a woman's and a man's bathroom area. They looked identical, of course. So I just made it as pretty as possible, but a little plain because of bills and whatever. And I just wanted the museum to have the focus on the paintings and all, not the bathroom. I also thought we have a lot of open space, so I decided to make like a cafeteria area where you eat, so I bought a cash register, and I made a kitchen. I also got Becky to come and help me decorate the kitchen, so all credits to her on the decoration for the kitchen. I also wanted to add tons of windows for lights because I know this three-story museum wouldn't have a lot of lights coming down from the top going to the bottom, so that's why this whole front is covered in windows. I can't believe this was the whole server in one screenshot. Thank you so much for all the support. I also wanted to add a space where people could sit down and be comfortable, so I added in tons of chairs and sofas.
benches on the bigger aisles with the posters because I wanted a way people can relax and also admire all the screenshots and whatever I'm posting up there. Now I gotta say, I was really proud of the chandelier. I can't believe I came up with it all on my own and I added in some pillars for the chandelier to be drooping down. Wow, this is one of my favorite ideas, to be honest.
then I added a bit of decoration outside because I didn't want it to be plain and very boring, so that's what I did. And now it's time for me to put in all the codes. Here we go! As you can see, here are a few of the screenshots that I already put in. Then I thought, I don't think we have enough. So I deleted some posters and I moved them around to make it look like it was full and beautiful. So that's what I did. This is so adorable. I'm so glad I can meet you all while I'm building. I'm just adding some last finishing touches and I think we're ready to tour.
right after we were done recording, we were just sitting down and eating and Wolf's messaged me saying she had something for me. So I guess we'll have to go check it out. Come on, Panda Landers, let's see what she has planned for us. Okay, so we just got at her plot and let's take a look. What is this? <gasps> what? Wolves! I didn't even know you were doing this! <gasps> this is amazing! Girl, how long did this take you? I can't believe this is the first time anyone has done anything on Bloxburg for me. <gasps> she even added a kitchen. It doesn't look like she's done yet, but let's keep taking a look. Oh my gosh, wolves! I love it! What is this? <gasps> this is like a living room with two TV areas. It looks perfect. So this is the A, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, now moving on to the next letter. So what is this, Wolves? What is it? It has lots of posters. What is it? Oh, it's going to be a fan art room. Well, <laughs> you need to have my ID codes for that, don't you? And then into the D. Let's take a look. Ooh, it's a bedroom. Let me get my stats up quickly. And it's blue in a green room. Those are my favorite colors. <laughs> Let's pretend to sleep. See what they say. Hi guys, you wanna like leave my room? Oh, she's like, oh! <laughs> I can't believe- She said this is my room? <gasps> no, 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 you can stay. You can stay, Wolf. You don't have to leave. Okay, what's in the A? The ending letter of Panda. Let's take a look. <gasps> That's so amazing! She put the bathtub in the middle. Now, I would never think of that, to be honest. This is great. Thank you so much, Wolves. I can't believe you did this for me. If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be part of the Panda Wanda Habitat, and click that bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out. Thanks for watching. Bye!